Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days. Uh, so this is my top five matches of the 2000s and I think of all of the videos that I've done looking at the best matches of each decade, uh, this has been the hardest. This has been the most difficult to compile. Um, really you're talking about the end of the Attitude Era, the beginning of the Ruthless Aggression Era um, and I suppose in a way even that kind of dies down towards the end of the 2000s um, and and there's a lot of uh, big names that come and go um, it's it's just got an, it's got an awful lot going on for it uh, obviously you've got the brand uh, split um, as well which means there was you know, even more wrestling happening um, or kind of more uh, pay-per-views I should say um, so there's a lot more to choose from and uh, I think I think this era has some of the best matches as well. But let's let's get into the the top five. Um, I think it's important though that you just know how hard it was because I fully appreciate there probably won't be a single person out there that agrees with this top five exactly. You've everyone's going to have their own opinions on things. Uh, there's some matches that I've kept out because I don't think the match itself was uh, worthy of being in the top five. Um, for example, there is no Hogan against The Rock. That is one of the biggest matches of all time. But just because it's one of the biggest matches of all time doesn't mean it's one of the best matches of all time. Um, so in at number five, I've gone with uh, the Hardy Boys against the Dudley Boys against Edge and Christian at WrestleMania 17. I can tell you this is a pro wrestling illustrated match of the year. Uh, from 2001 I believe and um, they'd done this the year before as well at Wrestlemania 2000 that match as well was a pro wrestling illustrated match of the year for me Wrestlemania 17 is the better uh, of those matches because um, they've kind of they take the template of the year before and they expand upon it 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 has that spear um, and any wrestling fans will know what I'm referring to there. Uh, it's basically got Edge jumping off a 20-foot ladder um, and spearing Jeff Hardy, uh, who I believe is dangling um, off like where the belts are kept because uh, it's a ladder match, where well, it's a TLC match for uh, for the tag team titles. Um, and it, it's just it's one of those moments. It's one of those moments. Um, I think as well what gives this match an edge on uh, an edge uh, an advantage over the one the year before is the fact that we also see uh, Lita, Spike Dudley, Rhino kind of getting involved for their individual teams it just brings a, an extra element to it. Um, the match itself is is fast paced, loads just loads of spots. You know, it's, uh, it's you need to go and watch it. If you've not seen it, you need to go and watch it. This is. Um, Arguably the greatest WrestleMania of all time, WrestleMania 17, and this for me is one of the greatest tag team matches of all time as well. At number four, the greatest return of all time, the comeback kid, uh, Mr. WrestleMania. I am talking about SummerSlam 2002, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels, um, you know, the, the click. You know, these guys were closer than close. Shawn Michaels has to step away in 98. He gets a back injury. I believe it was Royal Rumble, Undertaker, uh, in like a, ca a casket match. Um, he, he throws Shawn over the top rope. Shawn lands on the casket right on the corner on his back. Like, destroys two vertebrae in his back. And... Uh, he has to drop the title, basically he has to retire in 98, he's, he's out of the game for four years, four years, I think his last match was him dropping the belt to Austin at WrestleMania 14, um, anyway he, he, he goes through rehab, all that kind of stuff, he, he doesn't think he can return but he, he builds his strength up in his back. Um, and and he does, he returns. It's Kevin Nash unveils Shawn Michaels as a member of the NWO and uh, celebrating all this kind of stuff and basically Triple H turns uh, on uh, Shawn and um, it's it's just one of those kind of moments, you know, it's it, it builds towards this street fight um, at SummerSlam 
and it is just it is brutal it is a brutal match considering this is his comeback he's not been in the game for four years it's it's a brutal match and it's triple eight Shawn michaels it's two of the best workers on the roster um again if you've not seen it you need to go and check it out this feud just kept going and going and going the titles involved as well um, further down the road, uh, I can tell you that Michaels picks up the title. Uh, there's a three stages of hell match as well uh, between these guys. This is a, this is a major feud in the history of WWE, and uh, for me, this SummerSlam match is the best match in that feud. Number three, and from 2003, Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar in a one-hour Iron Man match. This thing is. Uh, the greatest Iron Man match of all time, and it happens on an episode of SmackDown. Um, it's you've got you've got Kurt Angle as the champion, you've got Lesnar as uh, the heel. Um, Lesnar has kind of aligned himself with Vince, and uh, it is it is just brutal. <laughs> uh, like like I keep saying uh, with the other matches, like but it, this is brutal. Um, I can. I won't tell you who wins because I think quite a few of you won't have seen this match. I believe it's on the network, so um, I've actually not gone and tried to find it, but I believe it is there. Um, and I can tell you the like Lesnar races to like a five, uh, five falls to two over Angle, and then Angle starts to bring it back. I won't tell you what happens in the end. It's very dramatic. It's one of those goes down to the wire kind of jobs, um, ankle, angle lock gets applied uh, several times throughout this, um, on angle as well. Um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. One of, the, one of the best matches, if not the best SmackDown match of all time, the best Iron Man match of all time. Number three, from 2003, Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. Number two, and we are back at WrestleMania 17. How could we not be? It was the best WrestleMania of all time, as I say, arguably. And we're looking at the main event. We're looking at The Rock versus uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, Stone Cold, uh, the, the Rock looked like he was on his way to victory. Um, Vince McMahon prevented that victory. Um, and he throws a chair to Stone Cold. Um, Stone Cold basically picks up the victory and celebrates uh, with Vince at the end. It's it's very much seen as the end of the Attitude Era, maybe the final match of the Attitude Era. Um, the Attitude Era really um, was uh, Vince versus Stone Cold, um, but uh, this kind of marked the end of that. And uh, the match is fantastic, back and forth. It's just two guys that loathed each other two guys that every fiber in their body just hated each other um it's one of the greatest rivalries of all time uh, as i say the rock and and stone cold and uh it's you know from a match point of view uh, one of the biggest big fight feels you can ever imagine um that twist at the end ruined it for a lot of people i didn't see it come in and for me just you know May not didn't make the match better, but it just gives it that added element of surprise, and so that's that's why I hold it in such high regard. And that brings us to number one, just scrapes into this decade, two thousand and nine, uh, the greatest WrestleMania match of all time, uh, maybe the greatest wrestling match of all time, um, two of the all time greats of all time. Um, in their, I say their prime, maybe maybe just past their primes, but both of them at a point where they were able to tell this story, um, they they basically were both at the right stages in their careers to tell the story that was told. The entrance sees one of them coming from hell, the other one coming from heaven. They meet in the ring and. It, it's bigger than a championship it's bigger than a championship it's it's to do with the streak and it's about can can michaels end the undertaker streak it's the biggest prize there is bigger than a championship 
someone was needed to end that streak. Michaels wanted to be the one to do it, Mr. WrestleMania, and they put on a clinic, just an a, an absolute clinic. Reversals, spots. I mean, there's there's one moment where the Undertaker goes through the ropes and he's he's basically coming down on Michaels, but Michaels brings a cameraman over. Undertaker legitimately is coming down at like, uh, like this kind of angle. He's basically just vertical but upside down. Um, it looks brutal. Um, and there's there's just so many moments like that throughout this. You know, reversals where um, Michaels is coming off and he manages to catch him, flip it into a tombstone, and it's beautiful. <laughs> It's not often I will say a match is beautiful, but I regard this. When it, when anyone ever asks me what my favourite match is, this is always the first to come to mind. And it is Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. Um, the fact they were able to do this on the grandest stage, not that it matters, but at an anniversary WrestleMania as well. You know, 25 years was a big deal for WrestleMania. Uh, the fact that they were able to put on this this performance was was massive. Um, the following year, you know, they do it again. Um, Undertaker, Sean. This time, uh, if Sean loses, he's forced to retire. So it's 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 Sean's career versus the streak. The match is arguably just as good, but for me, the first time of seeing it was the most special, and so that's why I have to go with the WrestleMania twenty five. Cool. Um, I'm sure most of you don't agree. I'm sure a lot of the matches I've said probably are in your top five, but I'm sure there'll be a lot of you out there going, what about Chris Benoit? What about Chris Benoit? Um, what about Eddie Guerrero? Um, things like No Way Out. Um, the, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, they would be in there. They would be in the top ten. I'm not keeping Benoit out because of obviously what happened. Um, I'm... I'm I'm just telling you what my top five are. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below or jump over to Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. Um, and please subscribe if you haven't. Really would appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you again next time. Um, and I won't leave it as long because I will be doing the top five matches of this decade so far. Um, fully expect to see some NXT entries in that. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.